as a classical example of an enterprise uh, that programs the service provider infrastructure, we'd see how WAN connectivity could be programmed in service provider by an enterprise or for certain data center requirement. We'd look at it as a classical bin packing problem and we'll see how uh, it goes. Bin packing is essentially a knapsack problem. It's a classical optimization problem where the items of different sizes are packed into the finite number of containers, aka bins. Each of these bins has a fixed or finite capacity and our goal is to optimize the use of these bins in such a way that we are able to minimize the number of bins used. In cloud computing uh, data centers, we've got a very large number of users. Each user needs a virtual machine. Now, how many of these virtual machines for a certain number of users could be accommodated at a certain data center where we have distributed data centers all part of a single cloud? So this results into, on the face of it, an unbalanced network resource requirement. So the virtual machine placement is done on certain data centers to reduce the utilization of the physical machine. Um, we'll see how we can go into the details of it through an example. Then uh, we can also look at uh, the WAN connectivity or the communications requirement in terms of the resources as a bin packing problem. Think about an enterprise that has an insight into the workload of a certain application that runs on data center. So it has an orchestrator that um, measures, aggregates, and then expenses the demands for different data center applications. So it has access to the uh, demand profiles for each um, user of a certain data center application. The expense of the service provider WAN infrastructure is usually dimensioned on the uh, peak load for the service provider. Here, the responsibility of the orchestrator is going to be to schedule the uh, data center applications by pre-poning, postponing some of the users uh, to reduce the peak communication load on the service provider WAN infrastructure. So we can formalize this problem as a bin packing data center connectivity issue. Uh, the actors are understood. Uh, the programmable part is the data center infrastructure. Uh, it would be programmed by the uh, workload orchestrator. Uh, the workload orchestrator has good understanding of the communication demands, so it, it can be easily managed if the infrastructure is programmable. In more traditional approach, if you compare these two, the enterprise data centers are scheduled manually. Uh, so there's no consideration to the overall aggregate demand coming from various users. Since such scheduling is not optimized with communication aggregate demand profile in view, uh, the overall traffic could result into peaks that would tax or burden the uh, uh, service provider infrastructure um, and would result into possibly some uh, packet drops and some latency. The programmability approach actually is nothing but enabling the enterprise application uh, to reconfigure the data center infrastructure so that the workload could be rebalanced or reassigned to uh, different parts of dif uh, the data center um, at different times or at the same time at different locations. The programmability part actually would involve uh, the dynamic reconfiguration of the data uh, center through the software defined networking and function virtualization. Uh, the uh, uh, possible challenges could be that we need to incorporate the support in the uh, service provider infrastructure uh, so that the enterprise can program it. Likewise, the uh, enterprise uh, in infrastructure should be able to have programming capability. Um, this results into um, um, an increase in a demand for the IT staff required at the enterprise level because the service provider staff wouldn't have much to do in it. And this is going to result into the obvious advantage of uh, having uh, reduced uh, uh, peaks, uh, peak demands, and the users are going to have a more steady and expected behavior. The resources are the same. We are uh, uh, deriving this particular use case from the operational 
opportunities and challenges for software defined networking network function virtualization programmable infrastructure uh, the report from the alliance for telecommunication industry solutions